Today I want to talk about uh, using specifics forms, uh, most, most specifically with uh, the portal. Um, we, often, we often have specifics forms in the portal, people submitting requests, we want a lot of detailed information from them. And some of the workflows get fairly complicated. However, one thing that uh, sometimes slips through the cracks is we don't realize when we're running one steps the context that we're in. The, the wider conversation here is where where are you where are you in the system today where you're running this particular one step from? I'm going to show you a quick example here, uh, and this is a this is a, a shopping cart specific. So uh, for purchasing multiple purchasing multiple uh, assets uh, in a single request, uh, as you'll see, there's an add to cart button here on the right side uh, with a link that um, runs a one step to basically add the item to the cart. Uh, and create a cart record. Um, it's very important to recognize, especially when you're in the portal. This isn't as true as when as true when you're in the client, but in the portal, it's very very uh, specific about where one steps are being run from. So when you create a, a one step like this to add something to the cart in the portal on a specifics form, you have to remember that your context is actually the incident record, not the specifics record. The specifics record is simply an embedded form on the incident, and you are actually still in the context of the incident record itself. So when you run a when you run a one step, it's very important to remember that because you don't want to run your one step from the specifics. And what I mean by that is the association for the one step. So if you look, uh, this particular action actually lives associated to incident. Now why is that? Um, the reason is is that if I associated with the specifics form, um, I wouldn't have any control over the wider incident, uh, and it would still be looking at it from outside. So anytime I needed to reference back to the incident or I needed to reference another record that might be related, I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't be able to see that. I'd be breaking the rule of two, essentially. So uh, it's, it's key to remember when you are building one steps for your specifics forms, uh, if they're going to be used on the portal, that you use the incident context or the incident association for those one steps. So quick, easy fix today. Just wanted to show uh, the, the context in which we run. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us directly here at Beyond 20 LLC on YouTube. Uh, you can tweet us at Beyond 20 LLC. Uh, or you can visit our website and contact us directly, www.beyond20.com. Thank you.